Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother, here you're counting. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught me this truth. And citation out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. Keep ignoring Akim and Shalom unto you. All right. I'm just going to go into the scriptures about how these last days we're living in are really the days of Noah, all right, as the scriptures talks about, all right, Matthew 24, 37, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, all right, and I'm in a garage here, so my internet is not that good, basically it goes into the people the scripture talking about how the people, you know, were marrying and partying, you know, so on and so forth. Basically, in, in, in lackadaisical land about what's actually happening into the world around them and what's actually happening in the world. All right, because prophecy is happening. All right, things are going down. Esau is making his preparation for his big play. All right, this is all chesty Esau, man. All right, and the people in the world are pawns. All right. It's the elect versus the elect, all right? The elect of wickedness versus the elect of the righteousness, all right? And we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So we understand what's going on here because in Amos, the Lord talks about he gives his servants to his, to his prophets, all right? Lord willing, we be those men. I be of that number, all right? Because we're able to dissect and understand what's actually going on into the world, all right? The Lord took the covering from our eyes, all right, set up us, set us up as watchmen. All right, you go into the word watchmen, it, be, it means to absorb. All right, to watch closely. All right, that's what we're doing, man. All right, we pay attention to what happens around the world, what's going on in the news, keeping up to date on articles and what's happening around the world. All right, we're not in, we're not in la la land over here. All right, we're actually up to date about what's happening in the world. All right, so on and so forth. All right, so that keeps us open, you know, aware of what's happening, all right, so that way we're not trapped and surprised when things go down, all right, Revolution, Revelation 12, 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe, which means destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time, and that's talking about Esau, man. And he's real soon, Esau is about to come down with a great wrath, all right? Because he know he had but a short time, all right? So that's what's about to go down real soon, all right? 2 Timothy 3, 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Hey, and that's, that's the end days, man. All right, not just talking about men, just talking about the people in general, lovers of themselves. That's, that's all this world is about now, man, with social media, people, self-idolatry, all right, idol worshiping at its finest, man, so on and so forth, all right, boasters, bragging about everything, too proud, no humbleness in them, man, no meekness in them, all right, blasphemers, all right, disobedience to parents, all right, the, the ultimate one that these people are disobedient to is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, they disregard him. All right, like he's nothing, like he's not even alive anymore, like he's just done it away. All right, and that's why the Lord's coming back with great wrath, man. Unthankful and unholy. All right, and that's that, that's and that's beautiful because that's definitely what's what's going on in the world, man. Second Timothy three and five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. All right, and that's all this is in the, in, in the world nowadays, man, is, is portraying that you love God, portraying that you're holy by wearing crosses and, and, and hibachis and whatever, you act like you got Bibles in your houses and, and three John 3.16 and all these bullshit verses that you don't live up to, not, not bullshit verses, Salakia, the verses that you say you live by, but it's bullshit because you don't. All right? It's a way to make you seem like you're something that you're not so people look at you like you're something that you're not. All right? A form that you really aren't. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh of a thief in the night. 
All right, and it's going to be a thief to the people in the world. All right, surprising. All right, not to the men that's keeping up to date with what's happening in the world. Not the watchmen. Not the ones that's understanding the times that we in. All right, and measuring the times that we in. All right. But to the people in the world, man. All right, they don't have a clue what the hell was going on. All right, it's going to be a thief in life to them. Because they think this place, America, is going to go on forever and ever. And never be destroyed. And just be here forever. They think this is the kingdom. All right, but well, they're surely mistaken, man. Amos 5.18. Woe unto you that, de that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right? And it's darkness for the wickedness, man. For the wicked people that's coming. That the Lord is coming for. All right? That's who it's darkness to. Hey, but the, the but the men of the Lord that was diligent out here, that hearkened into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's trying their hardest to be diligent and do the work and have faith, all right, and live according to the scriptures to the best of their ability, it's going to be light to them. All right, the Lord going to protect them from that day of trouble, man. All right, the Lord going to have a protection over them, all right? And they're going to run into that strong tower, which is in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they're going to do that by faith. All right, that's why, Lord willing, we be that number. I'll be that number, the brother that's out there in the world that are diligent, sincerely putting up videos, going out to the highways and byways. Hey, that's why we building up our faith now, man. So when it gets real hard out here, we, we already built up to where we need to be, and the rest of the Lord just going to take a hold, man. The Lord going to do his due diligence, and, and, and that's when the Lord going to start to show his power. So we're going to get to a point where, hey, we, we can't do nothing about it. Ain't, we ain't going to have no control over what's about to happen, man. All right, the only way we're going to be delivered is by faith. It's by having faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By having faith in their power, man. That he's going to deliver you up out of that, man. All right, and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai talks about having just the faith the size of a mustard seed. And how much greatness that can do. All right, how much that can move mountains and whatnot, man. All right, so Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is a beautiful, man. And he's about to show his power. All right, real soon here. Like yeah, I'm doing it. Big. He good. You feel me? So that hey, that's what's going down, man. I was just the brothers in the camp, you know. Are we about to go to camp and whatnot? With but hey, just know that we in the days of Noah, man. All right, we in those end days, and it's it's it's, it's even and more important now than ever to buckle down and get in the spirit, all right, and and be diligent and go hard for your how about Shimi was shy, man, because we at the end. What did Paul say? Our salvation now is nearer than when we ever believed. All right, and it's more near now than the shit that we even think about. All right, the shit can happen in a snap of a finger by the time things are happening now. All right, the way that Esau is coming down with great wrath. Hey, shit's happening, man. All right, so you either in the spirit or you not, man. Pick and choose. All right, or the Lord going to pick for you, and you're not going to like that. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, Barakatah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. Salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the bars that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. Shalom unto you.